First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, I've been asked several times over this past week of why these numbers work and how they work. Folks, it's not an easy thing to try to understand, but if you practice it a little bit, you'll be able to get it. I'm going to put a picture up here. This is on page 89 of one of the rarest books I have, Torque Analysis of Stock Market Cycles by William Garrett. In 1983, when I was at the uh, Chicago, board, uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, one of the members there was setting up a home office so he could trade out of his uh, office in Las Vegas for his family. And he asked me to come out and spend a couple months with him and set it up and teach his boys, you know, the ABCD stuff and little nicks and cranny stuff that we do. And so I did, had a lot of fun. That was the weekend that I got to meet Mickey Mantle and a bunch of other uh, famous people at that golf outing. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the fellows that was uh, helping to put this up was a gentleman from uh, California that was a GAN aficionado. He lived in Las Vegas, and he invited me over for dinner one night. And he was trying to get the book that I had. Uh, it, was a, it was actually a trading system by Henry Wheeler Chase. It's a very rare system. I got it from Larry Williams, and uh, he wanted to get a copy of that. And I said, well, I don't want to sell it. I said, I really don't have any interest. And he had a library of stuff. He said, look, I'll give you any book in this library if I can get a copy of that. So I looked up, and I, I, saw, I had most of the stuff. Some of the stuff didn't have any interest in me. But I saw this one book, and I reached up, and I picked it up. And he said, oh, accept that book. I said, wait a minute. What, is, what do you mean, accept that book? That doesn't make any sense. I said, this is the book I want. And he looked at it, and he said, okay. So anyway, this book came out exactly at the same time that the book came out by Jim Hurst, The Profit Magic of Stock Transaction in 1972, I believe, by McGraw-Hill. McGraw-Hill, they were both engineers. McGraw-Hill also put out the book by uh, William Garrett, Torque Analysis of Stock Market Cycles, but it was $29.95, and the book for Mr. Hurst was $8.95. And believe me, they only sold 200 copies of that book Pork analysis of stock market cycles, and they sold thousands of the others. So anyway, I put the book in with my stuff, and six, seven years later, I'm sitting here in Pismo Beach. It was 19, oh, I think it was 1988. Yeah, it was 1988. And uh, I had just met Bryce Gilmore, and I had every time I had a good win in the horses or something or poker, I always put it in a book, you know, put put the pages of the book. So I found page 89 in this book, and I put a couple hundred dollar bills in it, and uh, for some reason I was looking at it, and I said, I wonder if that money's still there. And I opened it up, and the, the 200 dollar bills were still there, and I saw this picture. And I said, gee, I wonder if Bryce would be interested in that. So I, I went to the a printer, and I printed out that page, and then I faxed it. This was the old thermal faxes. I faxed it to, to Bryce over in Australia. About 1.30 in the morning, California time, I get a phone call. Hey, mate, what are you doing? I said, well, it's 1.30 in the morning. I just went to bed. I'd been sleeping for a couple hours. He said, where did you get this piece of paper, this picture? And I told him the story about the book. He said, I've got to have that book. And I said, okay. I said, I'll put it in the mail to you tomorrow, and you'll have it within a couple of days. Larry, he said, I want that book right now. I said, the only way I'm going to get it right now is if I go over to the university and, you know, fax out every single page of 300 pages and, and fax them to you. He said, have I ever asked you for anything? I said, I'm on my way. I said, you'll have it in three hours. And I got over to the Cal Poly 
Uh, there was a couple people working that night, and so they helped me uh, put the pages onto a fax machine. This was thermal faxes, by the way. So he shipped it over. Uh, by that time, he got it in the morning. And then the next morning, about the same time, he called up and he said, I'm scheduled to be in California. He said on um, Wednesday, I think this was Monday or so, I forget the sequence of the dates, but he said, I'll be there in a day or so. And he said, Mrs. Garrett is coming to visit us in Pismo Beach. And I said, his his widow is still alive? She lived in Honolulu? He said, yes. And so anyway, Mrs. Garrett came over and talked to us for about three or four hours. Bryce paid for her fare over and everything. And uh, she had a brother living up in Fresno, and so she was going to visit him. So he spent a couple hours, and she told him that you know her husband uh, never really traded. He was a broker for Walston & Company. He happened to be a good friend of Ross Perot, who owned Walston & Company. But he ran several farms in Iowa. They moved to Hawaii, and he managed basically the bond portfolio of the family. That's all he did. He didn't do any trading, but he studied incessantly. And he had some very, very rare books that were given to the University of Hawaii. Unfortunately, these books were stolen immediately. So anyway, Mrs. Garrett was kind enough uh, because they had, she gave me the rights to the book. And I never did anything with it, of course. But uh, we, pay, we paid her for the rights, I think 5000 bucks. Anyway, but I asked him, why is this thing so doggone important? And he said, pay attention here to the, to the diagram. You see this, how the, the, the circle expands from a circle to a square to an ellipse, and the ellipses go out all the way out to the Fibonacci sequence? Okay, by, Bryce said, this area right here, where you take the square and make it into a circle and then to an ellipse is how you square a circle. And he said it's one of the most difficult formulas in all of mathematics is how you square a circle. So far over my head, I didn't pay attention to it. But anyway, that's that's how this got happening. Now, the reason why that's important is all of these numbers that we look at, all these Fibonacci numbers are important. What I do is I look at the main ones. I'm looking at 618-786-1.27 and 1.618 and then the last three years 382 okay that's all I really look at I, I take that with the with the ABCD and that gets me to where I want to be I keep it simple I don't want to care about how the cake is baking I just want to know when it comes out of the oven and that's basically what I try to do so all of those numbers all five of them are important you've got a B equals CD which is one to one then you got the expansion ratios of 1.27, 1.618. You had the contracting ratios of 618 and 786. And you've got 382 as a dynamite keg that makes the whole damn thing work. And, buddy, if you don't think that's the case, then I'll have to tell you a different story. I got a phone call today from somebody that I've known for many years. He's very famous. Every one of you has heard his name. I talked to him maybe once every four or five times, or once, maybe five once in every four or five years, uh, he's on a, he's on TV occasionally on uh, CNB, and uh, I'm not going to that don't make any difference. Anyway, he just told me he said I really appreciate the work that you've done. He said uh, he said you're probably uh, you've heard this before. He said but this stuff really does work, and I said yeah, I said it really does. But coming for you, I said it really really makes me feel good. And he said yeah, he said both of my kids are trading, and he said my girl was having trouble, and now she loves it. So that really 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 made my day. And uh, so anyway, uh, with that, I want to show you why I do this, because we had a trade last night, and we posted it here in the room yesterday, and we're going to talk about that trade when we get back. And our guest today is none other than Norman, who's in the Hurricane Winsky. He'll be right back with us at the bottom of the hour. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. 
All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to put this chart up. We were looking at this in silver yesterday, and as you'll notice here, uh, it's a daily chart. You can see we had these uh, huge moves occurring, and I. Uh, no, this is a four-hour chart because it encompasses six weeks. You'll notice that at this level right here, you have a 1.618 expansion, and we always talk about that as being the place where the pedal meets the metal, and you don't have to risk very much there because if it gets beyond it, that's what you're looking at. That's what that picture on the port torque analysis where it showed the squaring of the circle from the square to the circle to the ellipse. The top of that ellipse is 1.618. And that's why it's so very, very important. So what I wanted to do was to outline this trade to show you exactly, you know, what had happened. And you'll hold on just a second. Uh, just get it there is where we are. Okay, here's what I get it up here. Get it here really quickly here. And I sent this out ahead of time. And then as the market was coming down, I said to the folks, folks, look to buy it at the 382 retracement. That's where I said to look at it. I said you're going to be that should be the 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 extent of it for the first day, that will equivalent to just about a six thousand dollar profit, which would make up for the six hundred dollar, for the six grand or the five grand we missed on the rally in gold. And I said that would make me very happy, you know, if we if we did that. And so, uh, as you can see here, it did make it, uh, you know, quite easily. And in fact, I. I highlighted it in another one. Uh, I think uh, that's the one I did do it with. Oh, here it is. Let's get it up here. I wanted to show you here because this is the daily chart of the silver, and you'll be able to see the same thing because it's very important. What's happened in silver, this is huge, folks, because, well, when I think it's huge, what am I talking about? This level that we hit here, now this is the daily chart, remember? Now there's the 382 on the daily, same as the 382 on, on the 60 minute or four hour chart. Came exactly to the 382 retracement at 2005. From 2130 to 2005 was been perfect. Six, 1.618 on the top, 
382 on the bottom. But this level right here at 2130, folks, if we ever get above that, get out of town and don't ever try to sell silver because it's going to run like a stripe of deer through a forest. Because that number is a 382 on the weekly chart to the tick. 2130. That's why the risk on that was only like five or six cents yesterday, because if it got above it and it was struggling to get there, it would get to 27 and 28, 29. It finally hit 30 and a half. And then, of course, it had the big break, but it stopped right here. If this was really a major top, maybe this would have been a full reversal. But remember, in one day, it's dropped a dollar, a dollar 20. I mean, that, that in itself is, a, is a, a, a life. Look how wild these markets are, folks. We had those beautiful Fibonacci numbers yesterday at 3802 in the S&P. It dropped 60 handles and went back. And what did it do today? It dropped 70 handles and is coming back. So when you're risking 20 points on something, they give you 70. You know, if, they, if you're risking, you know, $1,000 and they give you $3,500, you got to realize you got to take a profit somewhere in there. So if you're making four or five times what your money is, you ought to be pretty happy camper, I would think. But you're not going to get the exact low and the exact high very often. It doesn't happen very often. It happened this way today, but it doesn't do it that way. The reason why I'm bringing that to your attention was because I learned this through that diagram that I still do not understand. But what do I understand? I understand one thing, like Curly said in City Slickers, I know what those four numbers are that really make any difference. The expansion numbers are 1.27 and 1.618, and the contraction numbers are 618 and 786, and the one you keep in your sleeve and never tell anybody about. Johnny's in the back of the room. Johnny, Johnny, I see it. He's got his sign up, and it says point to me, A2. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Johnny. We know you're back there. Keep up the good work. And keep your eyes off that little filly on the left-hand side of the room. She's complained to me about that. So you got to clean up your act, buddy. Okay, let's – don't sound like what happened to me at St. Benedict's uh, grade school there in Terre Haute, Indiana. Okay, now I want to cover a couple other things. Since we're talking about silver, all right? And we like 382, and this will be the end of the 382 discussion for the day. I know you get tired of it, but if you keep banging the door enough, you're going to let somebody in, and hopefully it will be Mr. Knowledge, and you'll be able to see it. Here was silver when it made the high, okay? Look last night what happened. The market broke down and stopped where the first time? Right there, folks, 382. A little 25-cent rally, 382, and then it started to go down. Wow, exciting, isn't it? Well, let me show you what exciting is. If you take a look at it again, you'll be able to look at it just a little. Uh oh, that's the one I want to show you, the big one. That's the one I want to show you the most. And that is, hold on just a second. If you believe in 3A2, and I certainly do, you'll see it right here. Okay, there you are. Now, they, people say, oh, well, this is short-term trading. It doesn't make any difference. What the, These are bar charts, folks. You put them daily, weekly, monthly. They're all going to act the same. There's your first 3A2. The market comes down. What does it do? It rallies to the second 3A2 because once this market goes lower, the 3A2 moves up to this level, and there it was. And guess what this was, folks? This was A, a B, a C, and a D, and you'll never guess where D ended up. Johnny's waving his hand back there with his little sign that said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have Johnny show that sign tomorrow that he's always po poking in, in the face here to let me see it. That was exactly the 382 of the daily from the low we made uh, seven or eight days ago. These numbers work, folks. Give them a little chance. Do they work all the time? No. Do they work some of the time? Yes. Are they valuable? Yes. That's all I need to say. I hope that makes sense. But uh, that's what we're watching right now. Can you believe the Dow was down 450 and now it's up on the day? Hello, operator. you got to love this kind of action, folks. There's just nothing like it. You can't get it in uh, Las Vegas and you can't get it in Monte Carlo, but they've got it in the exchanges in New York City and Chicago. All right. Now, here we have to talk about one that didn't work, and I think it's important. Uh, those of you that will do this will be a quick one because I know Mr. Winsky's coming up. Hold on, sports fans. And I did a video on this to show you the importance of these numbers again. Here's where we were in the bonds today. We're sitting right at, let's get it right here. You'll see it. There was the exact 61% retracement of that low and 382 of the other low. And I told the folks it's a low-risk buy right here. And if it 
doesn't hold, you risk about five points at the most, 150 bucks. And if it fails, it's going to drop really hard. And it's dropped well over a full point from that level. So that was one that didn't work. We were expecting it that if it didn't work, that it was going to break really hard. And uh, that was the whole thing about this. When these patterns don't work, get out of Dodge. That's all you got to do is Wyatt Earp would have to say. Anyway, we've got the man himself coming up, the master of hurricanes, Mr. Norm Winsky, And he's going to have some great information from Astro Trends down in Naples, Florida in his houseboat. So we'll be having Norm on at the break. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless and stay with us for Norm Winsky coming up. Tomorrow is Jeff Huge. Friday is none other than our good friend, Peter Lighties. So that's what we've got here for Wednesday. We'll be right back after these few words. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky of Astro Trends on the line today. Norm, are you there? I hear that I hear that hurricane coming. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Larry. I thought I'd give you a little sample of the hurricane there, you know? Yeah, it sounded pretty good. Did you make it through alive? I guess you did, right? Uh, let me check. <laughs> yeah. How about the Danny damages at all? No, nothing to my house at all. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, the, the deal is there hur there's two factors to a hurricane, water and wind. Uh, this, this hurricane went by Naples out in mm -hmm. the Gulf there, and we got the big storm surge. So if you were within a mile of the beach, 
you probably have a problem now. I'm three mm. miles from the beach, so and the wind wasn't that bad. I don't think we ever got over 60 miles an hour with the wind here. Mm. So where I'm at, you know, so a, a little farther mm. north, Fort Myers Beach, you know, the uh, those uh, barrier islands near Fort Myers, they got decimated, you know. Mm -hmm. They, well, what do you got for us today, pal? You've been pretty good with these uh, the markets. What are you seeing? What are you telling us? All right. Well, let's review what I said the last time I was on. You, anybody doubts it, they can go watch the video from back on the 23rd of uh, uh, September. So we got AC, just to re remind you of how this works, is after the close, 75% of these uh, astrological events occur overnight because uh, – the trading day is only a, th a fourth of a day, you know, so just random distribution says that most of the stuff is going to happen uh, overnight. Okay, so the 23rd AC, after the close, we had a new moon that, w that was the weekend, and we had a new moon, so we'll be looking at the usual suspects, which are financials, grains, precious metals, and because it was in Libra, we'll take a look at sugar and a double hit for wheat because it's a, the moon. And it's in Libra. Libra is also sugar and wheat. Then we had a couple of points to the U.S. natal chart. That's based on where the planets were on the 4th of July, 1776. We had the 26th after the close and the 29th after the close. Then we had the weekend of the 30th. We had a double whammy with uh, two big Mercury cycles. We had Mercury turning direct and Mercury at zero north latitude. That, I think, is a rare combination for those two Mercury cycles converge over the weekend. And we'll be looking at uh, any time you have Mercury, you're looking at the grains. And by the way, any all these things always apply to the stock market. Okay, let me make that clear. So I don't bother always writing the stock, uh, stock word stocks for every line to save me a little typing, you know. There we go. So just assume the stock market for all these. And then you had Mercury for the greens, and then, uh, and then, oh, the night of the third, we had uh, we had something to the U.S. chart. So there you go. So now we're going to look at the, the markets here now. Okay, here's corn. We did not do well in corn. There we're coming down here, and it took another. We had made a lower low. We didn't. Uh, you didn't make any money if you bought there after the moon on Monday morning. It went sideways, then it went lower. That's not good, so that's a miss. Then we had our two Mercury points there for the, no, we had, yeah, sorry, over the 30th weekend and in the Monday morning, the the uh, third, and uh, the market went into pretty much sideways to slightly higher. So you would have, you know, maybe scratched or maybe had a small loss on those. So we struck out on corn. We did a little better on beans. Uh, the moon, again, did not work, uh, which was pretty rare. Uh, but then we had the Mercury point, and we had three th three things for the beans. Let's see, we had something. Oh, Mercury was in Virgo, so that's another point for soybeans. And turn direct, there's another point for soybeans. And you had Mercury at zero north latitude, another point for soybeans. So it's a three-pointer there for soybeans, and that worked a little bit. You had a little bit of a rally there off of that low, so that's a winner. The wheat was the best of the three. Yeah, he went down just a little bit and then back up. And so he had a winner over wheat on the moon. And then the mercury points there, those also worked. They topped out there, went down. That's the way it's supposed to work. Here's sugar, went down, and then just kind of sideways. So you didn't have really make any money, didn't really lose much. But this went sideways, so I'm calling that a miss too. Uh, gold went down a little bit and then sideways. So there's another miss, kind of a pattern here that... Uh, the planets were, uh, <laughs> markets were very helpful here. Uh, silver did pretty much the same as gold. Just kind of went sideways to lower, and that's uh, that's it. You didn't make any money. S&P was really good. We made, uh, we were near a low that you, there. You popped up, made another low, and popped up there, made some money. Then we came in and down. When we came down, and into the 30th there, and you made your low on Friday's close. And then we had the big Mercury uh, double cycle there over the weekend. And then, as you know, we had the, have had, just had a big rally Monday and Tuesday. So that was good. So those were oh, four points that were good. And then uh, if you went short uh, night of the third, you were a little early there. And it took till this morning for the thing to make any kind of decent pullback. So I'm calling that a miss. 
Here's the bonds. The bonds had the uh, a little made a little top there on the moon, and then we had the U.S. point there, and we had the uh, another point. Oh, that was another U.S. point there, and then we just went sideways. So we had three out of four of the bonds. There's the moon. The currencies danced the to the moon, but not this time because it they um, uh, several uh, some of them turned two days later. I only allow one day. Got to be right within a day, or it's a miss. And the dollar went higher there over here, so that's a miss. Uh, the best one of the currencies was the British pound. You might remember, Larry, there was a selling panic on Monday the 26th. Uh, and uh, there you go. There's the low on the pound. And then it, the, it was so bad that the Bank of England had to step in and intervene to save the pound. And uh, I had that on my calendar for the British. I, I actually track astrologically. The Bank of England I had that as a as a high energy day for them that they might be doing something there and they and they did they had to step in and try to save the pound and they got it got it going the other way and there we go. So you add up your green arrows, your red arrows. You got 16 winners, 10 misses out of 26. I only did 61.54 percent. That's the lowest number I've had in a long time. Here I showed you this chart the last time I was on. This is my planetary index, Bradley inspired, but not Bradley. I totally revamped uh, Bradley's model there. And uh, there we go. That's where, let's see, let me find the 23rd where I was last on. We were looking at this right here, and the black bars are the 10-minute S&P bars. And I think we were in the middle of the day there on the 23rd. So I probably had it updated as of the night before. And then I showed you the blue line, which was on there already. And that said that the market should do that, and that's what the market did, and that black bars, you see. So overall, I think it worked out pretty well. You see that? So, you know, it might be uh, helpful to have a clue as to what's going to happen in the future. What do you think, Larry? <laughs> I am thinking about maybe if you could stay on for another segment, we could squeeze you in and you can tell us what the crystal ball is saying. Well, the crystal ball is on the next page, Larry. What about that? Okay. Hey, how about we pay a few bills and we'll be right back with you. Norm okay. Winsky of Astro Trends from Hurricane City, Naples, Florida. Yes, sir. Norm, we'll see you in a few seconds, okay? Okay. About two minutes. Okay, we got a little – I keep talking, Norm, because I've been alerted that we're way too early. So right. <laughs> I am not – I have a hard time with the clock, even though it's right twice a day. It's all those seconds in between that I have trouble with. I do have a question about the planet Mercury that two people have asked me the same question. And we'll okay. I'll answer that at the end of the show, okay? We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans, and he's going to give us a little clue into his crystal ball, what he's seeing next. So please continue. Okay, our next Astro points are the night of the 6th. That'll be tomorrow night. We have Jupiter to the U.S. chart. So that anytime we have the U.S. chart involved, we've been looking at U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar, and then, Larry, as you like to say, and then... This week, coming weekend, the weekend of the 7th, 7 AC, after the close of the 7th, we got one, two, three, four, five big points. Larry, you know that that doesn't happen very often when you get five big things all happening in a concentrated window there, right? Wow. There are a window. So we got That's on Friday. What's that? Friday. This October weekend. October 7th? Oh, the weekend. The okay, got it. Okay. After the close. Got it? Okay, so after the close of Friday, over the weekend, you got Uranus to the U.S. chart. That's, that alone is big. Uh, you got Uranus to the U.S. chart again. And so those are U.S. stock T-bonds dollar. Then we have Pluto turning direct. You know about retrogrades and direct, right? Mm -hmm. That's the, and then anytime you get a retrograde and direct on top of a moon, that, that, what was that? That was the weekend of the 9th of September. That's what you had there with Mercury and the moon. Mercury turned retrograde right on top of a full moon, and we had a huge top there and a big drop. So you got Pluto turning direct, and then we have a Mercury at an extreme cycle, and we have a full moon. That's five points. Wow. That's like, yeah, so here's how you make money on it, potentially make money on this. We need the market. The setup is half the deal. So you have to have a good setup. What is a good setup? We want the market to get to some extreme. If the market's going sideways, forget about it, right? So you got to have the market moving up or moving down into Friday's close. The closer to the higher the low it is, the better, okay? If it's in the middle, that's not good. If it does set up correctly and we're adding some extreme and the market closes near the higher the low, then the classic pattern is it will fall, probably follow through into Monday's opening, usually the first hour, and then you'll get a big reversal. Kind of like if you go back and look at the ninth or, or this past Monday, you had big reversals there in the first hour of the day, and then you have a huge move, you know? So that's the kind of thing we'll be looking for, okay? So there you go. We got a huge deal coming up here this weekend. So that'll be Monday. The big deal will be on uh, Monday the 10th, we'll be looking for a possible big reversals in may, all the uh, many of these markets here that I show here on the screen. Hopefully everybody can see those, okay? And if you can't see them, let me know. I'll send you the notes, okay? So there we go. I've been doing this a long time. Not as long as Larry, but almost as long. And let's see, I started there on the, in, on the Chicago, on the CBOE back in 
1975 when they had dinosaurs on the floor. That's me. I'm a dinosaur. Right. And speaking there you go. Of, and speaking of the floor, and that is a question we have from someone is do you weight mercury any more than you do anything else? Because we understand mercury is the planet of communication. Only, 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 uh, only, I, if it's a direct or retrograde, I, try, I pretty much treat them all the same. What the difference is what markets they might affect. All these markets, different commodities respond to different markets, different, different planets, different signs, okay? Okay. So mercury well, is uh, the grains, okay? That's well, why you might remember on the last show I said mm -hmm. you might want to pay attention to the grains there for that uh, the weekend of the uh, – was that the 30th, right? The 30th, right? It turned out that was to be a huge, bigger window for actually for the S&P, you know, but the stocks respond to everything. That's the difference so between stocks, which is a big basket of everything, and commodities. So there we go. Anyway, so I was on the CBO and the Board of Trade, Chicago Board of Trade. Been doing this a long time. I was trading it based on astrology down there on the floor, and uh, that worked out pretty well. There we go. You can get a hold of me. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, you can get a free tutorial on some of the technical terms I, I have here. And here's the good news. I was not a good student in school, so that I struggled to get through school. And therefore, I don't make things complicated like Larry. I love simple, and I don't think there's anything in here. You know, you <laughs> me may, from the, yeah. What's that? It took, me, it took me three years to get out of the fifth grade. What are you talking about? I, Complex. I took me four. Okay, so there you go. I got you beat, Larry. <laughs> so Listen, anyway. thank, thanks for joining us. We'll have you on soon. So let us know when you got a heads up, and we'll be watching you. And if you're right this time, we'll have you on as a guest. If not, good luck in your next career, okay? Okay, anyway, so I just wanted to say that nothing's over a fifth grade level that I'm doing here. I got unfamiliar terms probably to you. You learn the, what that stuff means, and it's no, there's no complicated math here. I, or I couldn't do it. That's, yeah. that's the point. I, you know, this stuff I is agree simple. With you. Once I explain this stuff, I, everybody, it looks complicated, but once I explain it, it isn't. And, I, and the explanations are usually pretty simple, too. There you go. Here's how to get a hold of me. It's 239-594-3939 in still beautiful Naples, Florida, and Winscat, and Bark, the Q there, mail.com. Now you can call me on Skype at nwinski underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks there, Larry. Just okay. Call me right away, and I'll help you. Thank you so much, Norm. We'll have you on again very soon. Okay, buddy? Thank you very much. Take okay. care. Okay, you bet. Norm Winski, Astro folks. We've got a minute or two before the next break. I wanted to update you on the silver because uh, I happen to be involved in this. And I wanted to show you, uh, this is where um, the 3A2 came in right here. And as you can see, this is a 15-minute chart accompanying a couple hours. And as you can see, it makes a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. So when you add the Fibonacci numbers with the patterns, it gives you a rough idea of how these markets are operating. Do they operate the same way? Here's a perfect example of a 382 that's not working. You see, this is the 382 off of the high, right there at 850, and we've already gone about eight cents above it, so it's gonna get at least to the 50%, maybe to the 61, and maybe it'll make a new high. You know, look what's happened to the stock market. They were down 450 points, and it gets up on the day. Hello, operator, I mean, that's a wild market. Well, when it goes up eight, 900 points in a day, nothing's wild. So get ready for that. That train has left the station. We already know volatility is here to stay. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to now. The second uh, part of this is if I would have sold this, and I did not because I'm involved in a conversation with somebody uh, regarding something else right now, so I can't trade the rest of the day. It's all about trading, but I'm going to be tied up for something. And anyway, uh, there was a 3A2. Had I sold it there? I would be putting my stop right above the 50% level. That means I would be risking about 12 cents. Well, it made a dollar, a dollar 18 on the way down. So 15 cents is not a whole lot. So I might even shade that by uh, now 15 cents is what you have to do when you're trading silver these days because it's really wild. So what we'll do is, and what we'll do is tomorrow, tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. It's only a day away. We're going to review this trade and see if it would have worked. And if it didn't, why not? 
because that's how you learn, folks. Just through that bond trade that we were looking at today, I did two videos, one getting in and two getting out because I wanted the folks to see that's how you manage your risk because these patterns work and they're there for risk control. That's what they're there for. You've got to control that. That's how you put your orders in, put your stops in, and we'll be right back after we pay a few bills. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. And I wanted to post a chart here. This is intraday 15-minute chart here on the natural gas because we were we had that big Gartley complete down there at the 630 level. Uh, we were buying right there at 633. We're up about 60 handles now. But you'll notice today we had a 382 retracement that occurred here early in the morning. I had that marked and uh, actually uh, uh, suggested that, uh, well, it wasn't for the group, but someone asked me, would he like to add there? And I said, yeah. And I, and I said, you know, where would he put the stop? I said, below the 50%. Well, I saw this later, the fact that, look, you made this A, B, C, D, you took out the 382 by a heartbeat, made the D point right here, and then away it goes. That That's really telling you in the way that it takes off right here. Remember how it takes off a C, which is right here? That means you have B right here and A down here. So if you do A, B, C, D, you're looking somewhere around 710, 715 in this uh, in this move right here. And you also have another 382 retracement right here. That was a 382 off of this one. So 
Um, Johnny is in the back of the room just clapping. And Johnny, sit down. We're almost finished with class. Anyway, it's uh, that's what we're watching here today uh, in the natural gas. Now, tomorrow we have Jeff Huge. Always a great guest with some of the best charts in the business. And then on Friday, someone very, very special. Uh, they're everybody special, but Peter Elides is super special. <laughs> anyway, we'll have Peter Elides on on Friday, given market conditions, of course, because if things are getting crazy like they usually do, then this is what you have to do is to arrange your guests so that they don't, uh, you know, lose any money by being on the air and uh that's something that we don't uh, want to have happen. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And folks, please, if you can, try to help your neighbors, because there's folks out there that are having a very, very difficult time. And believe me, it's not an easy gig out there for a lot of people. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Jeff Huge as our guest. May God bless.